All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the daily update of my 1000 day challenge. This is day 192, so let's get things started. All right, so first and foremost, you'll notice the balance is up quite significantly in a sense, about 400. And reason being is actually due to the main trading account. There was actually a sharp pullback yesterday in terms of the crypto market, and it triggered my trailing stop loss for both Ethereum and Lin. So I took profit in that sense, so that jump was in the 500. And there was actually a loss that was taken. I think there was in terms of the link that was actually triggered in terms of experimental trade setup. So that's something to bear in mind. All right, and moving on to the daily market structure today, you know, it's Monday. So I'll be covering a very quick run through on the weekly chart for Bitcoin. And actually right now, I think I've been doing this analysis a little bit late in the day. So actually, yes, a very strong breakout towards the upside on Bitcoin, which I'll cover a little bit on the rationale behind and potentially could go way higher. But for me, I've already entered my trade and I'm still sticking to the position and I will not be entering any new trade anytime soon in that sense. But let's see how things pull back in a sense. All right, so without further ado, let's get things started. On the weekly chart, things look actually really bullish. And reason being why, as you can see after this morning close on the 8 a.m. in Singapore time or the, the universal standard time per se, so you can close that it closed actually on this point, which is at 38,900, which is actually the all time high close in terms of the weekly chart basis. So this itself is a very bullish sign, although do bear in mind that the volume is actually not as high. So yep, but otherwise things looks really great in terms of the short to mid terms. And we are picking up in terms of the parabolic run, which personally I'm not a favor of because that means that when the, sharp, when the drop does happen, it's going to be a little bit sharper than expected. So let's see how things goes. So on the daily chart wise, we do see some sort of uh, indecision candlestick after the one first indecision, we got a second indecision with a red kind of a hanging man kind of candlestick or doji kind of candlestick if you refer to it. But this like a inverted kind of hammer, which is sort of bearish in a sense. You now we're making new, new autumn high once again. We're pushing really strongly which is really great in terms of my hotling position and also for my trading position which I entered earlier on, I think somewhere along here. Yeah, somewhere along here I did enter. So yeah, that's something to always bear in mind. And other than that, all right. So yeah, so basically this position I did mention yesterday that you could consider closing it below the 20 exponential moving average or a break even point. However, if I start with the risk to real setup over here, that's where you could have been trailing your trail your profit why is using the 20 exponential moving average though now because it's actually very far away from it so let's see how far price will go and potentially we can get strong rejection and then potentially some sort of consolidation and if it does fall back here below to this previous all-time high then find some support that'll be great so personally i would have thought that we will see some sort of resistance here before breaking up but unfortunately, it actually break way stronger, so I didn't have an opportunity to enter. So right now, I'm definitely staying out of the market in terms of new trading setup. But existing setup-wise, I will just trail very closely to it. Otherwise, yep, that's more or less about it. It's great that it's been breaking up towards the upside. So certain trades has going in the right favor or right direction. And otherwise, that's more or less about it. And I'll see you guys tomorrow. Take care. Bye-bye.